Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to a local antique store to go and see what I can get. Um, I do like to go and support small businesses. Uh, it helps them out, helps me out. I get to go find things to buy and sell on my eBay store and they get to have money in their pocket too. Um, today is windy, 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 Kansas winds. So this is why this looks like this. And I will show you what it looked like today when I was out on a walk today. It was absolutely ridiculous. Um, anyway, so let's get into it. All right, so this is a different antique store that I haven't been to before. So this says they're resin, those balls, and not lucite. So I don't know if they were meaning lucite or not, but they wanted $40 a piece for those sets. This booth is a little bit more expensive. Uh, not a good price for me for reselling, but a good price if you wanted to go buy it for yourself. So I was contemplating these because it has that lucky rabbit's foot and it has, it looked like vintage dice and it said um, on the strip. So I'm guessing they came from Vegas and that whole bag was $6. I don't grab it just yet. I like to look around instead of just like grabbing everything that I see at first. So I might go back to that store and see if they still have it because I might pick it up. And I love finding teacups and teapots. They wanted $8 for this set. And then $8 for the set below it. It is bone china. And bone china can go really good depending on what it is. That was that little frog flower. Um, normally you would need that for another piece. I liked this dish. I contemplated it for a little bit. It was $4.50. Like I said, I might go back and get it. There's no markings on it, so I don't know who the maker was. But it was a really nice piece with the feet on the bottom. And that looks like a carnival glass piece. I like this alligator. I thought he was going to be heavier than he was. He's really lightweight. So I put him back. Some little turtle salt and pepper shakers. Let's go see. Uh, this little booth had like a whole bunch of knickknacks and jars. So they had buttons and like little pins and stuff. I think I was talking to my daughter at this point. <laughs> I liked these. They're vintage ornaments. They're like wood little pieces or cardboard. I'm not for sure. I didn't open the bag, but I might go back and get those. They were $6 and there was a bunch in there. I tried to look to see if they had like any markings on them, but I couldn't tell unless I opened up the bag and I didn't want to do that. So next time I come into the store, because I'm definitely coming back, I'm definitely going to see if they're still there. And I'm going to see, uh, I'm going to open it and see if there's any markings on it. I might just get them, trust my gut and just grab them. You got to do that sometimes. Old Kansas plates. I know some Kansas, or some old vintage plates could sell. Um, I don't know. I can't just like spot them out which one's the good one and which ones are not worth anything. And I do um, look up some things sometimes. And I was looking at the Hot Wheels for my kids. Not for resale. My, um, there's a little pink bunny gloss. My kids like to have the Hot Wheels that the they have an open like convertible so they can put their little Lego pieces in there or you know little tiny pieces and they can make them go for a ride or if the trunk opens they like those kind of Hot Wheels. So this was 
a squeezy doll. Uh, it's supposed to squeak. It was still soft, so the rubber wasn't hardened, so which is good. And I thought about him because his rubber was still soft, but he didn't make that squeak noise anymore, so I bet the squeaker in there was broke. So I do put that back. He was $4.50, I think. Pretty cool vintage little toy section over here. So much to look at. And we came in uh, 30 minutes before closing. I was like, yeah, we can, we can get in there and get out. <laughs> I was wrong. We will definitely have to come back. But the lady here was so nice. Definitely have to come here again. Some little ducks. At first I thought they were selling them as the set, but they were selling them individually. So much to look at. Um, I loved, loved this measuring cup set. I was going to get it, and then I forgot about it, but I might go back. Definitely coming back, but um, it's a made in Japan piece. All of the measuring cups look to be in excellent condition. And they just sit on there. It's a really pretty piece. And I'm just drawn to that vintage Fisher Price toys. They are so cute to me. I don't know if that's everybody or if that's just a me thing, but I absolutely love them. And this one did work. And you can see the Raggedy Ann and Andy in the back. That was $8 for that. And then I think they had a 25% off in this booth. And the little vintage kitchen, so cute. Little knobs turned. And I think it was Raggedy Ann and Andy. Okay, this is some jade eye teacup and saucer and they wanted 14 on that one uh, I tried doing comps while I was there there's a little sheep planter eight dollars on it he looked great like no chips or cracks or anything I did look up this one and that one wasn't going for a lot. A lot of people were selling that as a set of four of them for like $20 and there was only one for five. So it wouldn't make sense for me to buy that. Carnival glass punch bowl with the cups and the spoon. I keep going back to that jadeite though because I've never seen jadeite in the wild. And that says Delft, but anytime I see Delft and think of Delft, I think of that blue and white. So much to look at. Shot glasses. Uh, some more Hot Wheels. It looks like some hobbyist pieces on the top. And then I don't know what these were. They wanted twelve fifty for them for a piece. And when I go in these stores, I'm never mad about the prices, but. If I'm paying for it for myself, then sure. But I don't know what this was because when I think of a trinket dish, I think of something that didn't have holes on the top. And that one had like six holes on the top. So I don't know if it was like a toothpick holder or something you could put your potpourri in and let the smell come out. So much clear glass.
that soap dish looked like it would have um, been like some type of jadeite, but it wasn't. It was a glass. Look at that cute vintage rocking chair. So I really liked this. Not for resale, but for the kids and me. I absolutely love that. I might go back and get that. It was $20 for that whole set. I didn't open it up, so I don't know what it looks like on the inside. So when I go to these places, I don't only just shop for resale. I shop for myself, too, or gifts. Um, I like to look for things that we could be using at home, too. This booth had a lot of um, clocks in it. I really like this ornament. It said it was made in 2000, or I don't know if it was made in 2003, but it says 2003 on it. And that foghorn, or a leghorn and foghorn cup. I love this one. They wanted... $15 for the the Basset Hound. My two-year-old, she loves anything that's like those pull toys, those toys that you pull and they follow and make those noises. She loves that kind of stuff. I love that cat mug. They wanted $11.95 on it. And then I think it was also a 20% off. And it said it was made in Japan. Cute little vintage Christmas ornaments and other knickknacks. So many things. Like I said, I was on a time crunch. I couldn't stop and look at every single thing. I will definitely be coming back here. Not when they're closing. <laughs> Some buttons. It says $12 plus another 25% off. But I don't know anything about buttons. But I know buttons can sell good if you can find the right ones. This is just a little miniature teacup and saucer. I liked this cup, but it had a lot of chips on it, a lot of crazing, and it looks like repair, so I put that back. I like that little rocking horse at the bottom. I didn't even see that while I was at the store. And I've seen people buy those before, those little plastic um, bag decorations. I don't know what else you would call that, but I've seen other people buy those, but I just I don't want to ship that because it's huge. They really pack these booths full. So when I'm walking in, I'm like, please don't let anything fall over. <laughs> I liked this. It said it was made in Italy, and it said it was an ashtray. I don't know. I probably should have Googled this one. But I can't always just, like, well, you know, Google every single thing that I find. I do like that. And they wanted $4 on that one. Not bad. Or no, excuse me, $5. There's some more of those balls. This one says balls and not lucite or resin. And I don't know the difference between lucite and resin. And if you guys know that difference, let me know in the comments because I have no clue.
Those are some vintage keys. Another ball. That ball was $12, the bigger one. I go back to these little things because I know if they're Lucite, Lucite can sell really good. But I don't know the difference. I like that little chicken. That chicken was $48, though. I really like this teacup and saucer. It's so cute. I think that's called luster wear whenever it looks shiny like that. I thought this was a fairy lamp or light at first, but it was just a set of vase and bowl. And they don't look like they're the same piece, but I think somebody married the two and then was selling them as a together. And that was a Fenton bowl, $40 on that one. box full of Beanie Babies. I love, love this carousel piece. Has the lions and horses, $85.99. It's so cute. And there's a little kitten basket. The handle is like a wood or wicker material, and the basket itself was porcelain. It was so cute. And they wanted $40 on that. I like this too, it's a weight. I don't know if it was like a perfume bottle or what, because the bottom of it looks like it might have held something in it. So much cool stuff. A little metal jar. It says made in England on it after I pick it up. I absolutely love this one. Four dollars. I just like the design on it. It's really pretty. Alright, so now we're almost to the checkout. And they have this. Look at how gorgeous this is. And I love cookie jars. Teapots, cookie jars, mugs. Love, love, love cookie jars. It was $9.50 off. Couldn't leave that behind. Alright, so now we're going to head back home and I'll show you what all I picked up. Alright, so now we're back home. And look at this gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous cookie jar. Huge. So it was $9. They had it for 50% off. So $4.50 is all I paid for it. So cute. And it's in excellent condition. I love it. I love cookie jars. And ones that look like that are my favorite. And then I found these at the checkout. And the lady was so nice there. It was closing time and we were just chatting and then I saw these and she said I could go look at them. Definitely go back there. And on the bottom of these, both of them, both say Dollar Tree. But nowadays they don't make anything like that at the Dollar Tree. This thing is gorgeous. Heavy. And both of them say that. If it'll focus. Just really pretty. 
and these were $3.75 a piece. And then I also found this, it was $4. It's a teacup and saucer. And then at, right before we went to the checkout, I found this and this was $4. Just a little metal tin. And today was $26 at the store. So everything is linked in the store if you want to find it. And my store link is in the description. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe.